Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss and show you how we install the Jafire plugin in the Jira. So first of all, let's understand why we need Jafire plugin installed in Jira. So basically, Jira will not provide any test management tools or test management features using that we can uh, create the test case. So if we want to create the test case, then we need some some uh, plugins, right? Which we need to install and add in the Jira. So after the installation of that plugin, that app, we can write the test case. So here in this tutorial, I'm going to use the Jafari Scale plugin, which is very popular and we will use this and show you how we write the test cases in the Jira. Okay, so now let's start. So if we want to install the plugins, then we need to go with the user setting. And one more thing, you need admin privilege. If you have admin access, then you can install the uh, plugin or Jafar scale app. If you don't have permission, then you cannot install. So make sure you have permission. And if you have your own account, then yes, definitely you have a permission and you can install. So to install the app, we need to go with the setting, click on the setting and here click on the app. It will directly open the app and here you can see there is a search input box. Here there are multiple plugins are available. Let's search here Jafar scale. Jafar scale you can see here. Click, click here, try it out, try it free. I'm going to use this for free version. Uh, so it will give us the some trial version, right? One month. And then after the one month, we need to pay. So let's start. Click on the start free trial button. Okay, now you can see Jafari scale test management for Jira was added. Okay, if I go back in our project, so Scrum project, click on the Scrum project here. Okay, and uh, in the project setting, we have app. Jafari scale, click on this. Yeah, it's loading. And now enable Jafari scale to start managing test case right now. You can disable if it any time without losing data. So we can enable further test scrum project. So let's click on on button. You can see this is enabled. You can see, let me refresh the project. You can see Jafari scale coming option is coming here in the left side. Click on the Jafari scale here, the Jafari scale sections after it enable where we can create the test case. Okay. So let's see what we can do here. So we can here create first of all test folders, right? So using the test folder, we can manage our test cases. So what type of test cases we are going to write here? We are going to write manual test cases. So let's create one folder. Like I'm creating login folder. So what we can do, we can maintain all the login test cases under this folder. Similar type, we can create other folder like sign up. Okay. So why we are creating here the project? So folders. So using the folder, we can maintain our test cases okay group our test cases so that it will it will be helpful when we execute the test cases now how we add the test here we have option new test case click on this you will see option here first detail test script execution tab traceability attachment comment history so let's go first and detail tab in the detail tab first we need to put the uh, test 
case name so like i have one street here let me create a login so verify user login with valid credentials so here i have three steps so enter the details then if we have any objective we need to define here like in more details is there any precondition we can add here like application browser is open and user is on login page here we have some status by default we can select as a draft priority normal components if we have we can select the component owner estimated time how much time it will take to execute and then we can select the folder so like here i am selecting the folder login if we want to give the label we can provide the labels so what is the use of label by using the label we can filter the test cases later in the test script section we can here create the test script two ways one by using the btd format so here we can write the btd format using given when then format this is behavior driven and directly if we want to add steps we can use the test step by step one more option is here plain text let's go step by step so here we have three steps so first suppose that navigate the url of the application if we want to add next step click on the add button and here this is the next step and this is the third step click on login button for verification we can add here after the click on login user should login successfully here we can add the verification user should enter username and password means both in both field user can enter here user should on login page okay so three steps i added and then click on save button test case is created for execution it will maintain your history traceability we can link the with any issue or we can pop web link attachment we can do there are some comments it will maintain also the comments go to the back here second things we have option to create directly test case from the user story so if i open this user story so you can see here in the user story you can see here there is a safari scale option click on this you will see option here safari scale so create new test case add existing test case suppose that if you want to add click on the existing test click on add test like we have one created the test case this is available in the test case repository so click on add button now you can see test is linked here A similar type if you want to add new test case so here is option plus go here and create new test suppose that verify with blank username and password so we can give here details select the draft label i can give the login and folder we can select the login and in the step we can add first step then go to the second step click on login button two step added now add the expected condition this is the expected condition click on save and if i click on the back button you will see here this newly created test automatically link with the 
user story so we can create directly from the user story we can create the test case directly from user story so it will maintain the traceability right our test cases link with the user story why we need the link with the user story so when we are going to create any use we receive any user story then we need to create the test case so to maintain the traceability we can link with the user story uh, all the test cases required test cases if the test case is already exists we can go from option here add existing test case if we need to write the new test cases we can go and create new test case from here okay so now uh, in this way we can uh, link the test case with the user story now let's see how we execute the test here there are two test cases added now if i want to execute go to the cycle here we can create new cycle and add the test case test cycle give the name of the test cycle like this is the test cycle we can give the description of this test cycle and there are some folders if you want to we can add folders okay version number we can select here iteration owners right when we start and when we uh, end we can add the next step we can add the test case how many test cases we want to execute in this cycle so like i am going to select both the test and click advert so in this way we can add the all the required test cases which we want to execute in that particular cycle so click on the save button okay cycle is created here and now we need to execute this cycle go to the cycle you can see here the edit run clone button delete button so if i select this you will see these are enabled now we need to run this cycle click on the run button you will see these options here we can start timer if we need if you want okay and then we need to navigate the test cases on the urls on the application level manually and we will mark here if the test is passed we have passed option if the test step is failed we will mark the fail step. if there is any blocker we can mark the block so there are three buttons we can use apart from that there is not executed in progress we have also okay so let me mark this pass and in the setting if you click here you can directly create issue like suppose that our test is getting fail due to some issue reason now i want to create the defect so directly from the steps you can create issue so let me suppose that after click on login button i am not able to retrieve is see user is login successfully as well as we can here fill the actual steps like what is expect actual actual suppose that user is not able to log in in application okay this is the actual step what we are getting at the time of execution our expected is user should log in successfully but we are getting user is not able to log in in the application now it means our test is failing mark the test fail and just go and create a defect here directly we can go select the defect like bug here and mention here user is not able to log in and then we need to add here steps to reproduce and we will mention all the steps one by one what steps we need to get to reproduce this defect okay and then what we will do we will attach the screenshot of the failed test okay there are some more fields we can fill up and then we can also select the sprint in which sprint we are getting the uh issue and then click on create button issue is created and here in the test case you can see this is the automatically link with the test case and when we make the test fail here overall status you will see the fail similar type suppose that i am going to execute this and this is run successfully so we mark the 
pass. Once we mark all the state pass, the final status you can see this is passed. So our test case is, is executed. Let's go back and test cycle. Here you can see status is done. Execution we can see the progress one pass and one fail. If I go at the user story level, you can see the test case result. This is the last execution result. We can see here getting the fail and this is the pass. Okay, so at user story labels, we can see what is the status of the test case. Now, we have reported one defect. That defect we can include in the user story as well as. So click on the link issue here. Search the issue. You can see issue TS-53. User is not able to log in. Click on this and add the link. We can see the user story. Uh, in, in user story, we can see defect link and as well as the status of the defect. Once this defect will fix, suppose that this defect is fixed, so now its status is done. If I refresh here, you will see the issue status is also marked. So now from the user story level, we can maintain, we can trace the issue as well as the test case. So, okay, here we are maintaining the traceability. Okay, now if I want to create the cycle, then directly we can create cycle here, test execution cycle. Here we have option, or we can include the existing cycle. Okay, so let me show you how we include. So, select the cycle here, click on add button. So, you can see here test case. Defect I linked here. All the test cases which are related to this user story we can see here as well as the test cycle is here. So we don't need to go at a test case level. After seeing this user story, we can understand what is the progress, how many tests is failing, if there is any defect is reported, what is the defect status, and in the execution cycle, how much the test is passed or failed. Okay, so hope this will be helpful. Uh, to understand the Jira, how we create the Jafir, how we create the test case using the Jafir scale, and how we link those test cases, test execution plan, test cycle, as well as the defect with our user story. Okay.